And in Tip City, an art teacher puts her skills to work, making more than 4,000 masks. Two News reporter Kelly King shows us how she's giving back to some of her own. It's what's working in the Miami Valley. A Tip City teacher began making masks when the pandemic began. She's now sewed so many masks that each Tip City student will have one should they need one when the school year starts. That's just kind of how I live my life is trying to be creative at and all levels. That creativity goes a long way for Heather Combs, a mom, an art teacher, now add mask maker to her resume. I take a day to cut the fabric and just cut and cut and cut. She and her mom, a retired nurse, made more than 1,500 masks for frontline workers alone at the onset of the pandemic. She started ironing um, all the masks to get them ready for me to pleat and sew. Combine Heather's creativity with her mom's desire to give back, the two made quite the team. I got to the point where I could do 200 in a day. That number kept adding up. With the process down pat, she expanded her mask making for all of Tip City schools. The goal was 3,000 um, for the school. She met that goal, but not without the help of community donations. I knew that this was going to be an expensive feat. Several thousands of dollars to, to pay for supplies, and I was blown away. I just was blown away. With some generosity and time, she cranked out masks daily in different patterns and three different sizes. We found cute little patterns for the little ones that are superheroes and trolls and fun things. Each mask made with fabric, elastic, love, and some hope of seeing her students in the fall. We just need that interaction with them. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing their faces. A mask policy and exactly what school will look like in the fall is still in the works. Reporting in Tip City, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.